Hello everyone. Uh, this is my, um, it's a storage battery control monitor and um, it's called the L30A and they also have an L10A. The 30A is 30 amps and the uh, L10 is 10 amps and just about everybody on the internet claims that they made this. <laughs> there's, they've just, there's a million companies that have taken this as their own. Um, and I mean, you can buy them anywhere from six dollars to I've seen them sell as high as seventeen to twenty dollars. And I got this on eBay for it was like around six dollars free shipping. And what it will do is it will um, you can use it to charge batteries. And the reason I got it is in the ad it said lead acid battery charger uh, control monitor, and um, and this is also acting batteries, so I figured it was for everything, but it isn't. It won't, as far as I've tried, it won't charge um, lithium ion batteries, and I assume it won't ch charge uh, lipo batteries. It may, I mean, it may. It just, I just tried lithium ion, and I think the reason why is because a uh, battery like this is pretty close to lead acid battery, and I think it might check the, uh, Im you know, the impedance of the battery or the capacitance to make an assumption of um, what needs to be charged in a lithium ion battery. I was using it for my, um, my, you know, I was using it for my uh, radio that I use when I go um, rail fanning. If you know what rail fanning is, it's train watching basically. And um, it's a small, yeah, it's a small battery. It's not real big and um, it just won't charge it. So, you know, I think that it, it won't, this will only really work on, um, you know, like a, a gel cell battery or um, a um, a um, lead acid battery. You know, the, basically these are both edit, what they call Edison batteries. They're lead and, and an acid, you know, and I think they only work on an Edison type battery. But anyway, um, you know, I mean, it's only six bucks. You can always try. And this charger is max 60 volts, 30 amps, and I would not use it for uh, transportation or automotive batteries. So you put this between the terminals of your car battery, and I think you're going to see a big puff of smoke. But I, I don't think it, I don't think it's going to work. Well, anyway, it, yeah, it's 60 amps, and you know, like most car batteries are, like you know, they're like around 300 to 750 amps. You can weld with a car battery. Um, so, yeah, I don't think this is going to work with, like, a car battery. It would only be a small battery. I mean, basically, this one's pretty much worthless um, for me right now. I don't have any. I, I bought another online. I bought another battery charger that. Um, this is the charger I bought. You know, I could buy another. What happens? This broke. The first day I had it, the, the circuit board just went up in smoke. And so I've been charging it by. Um, connecting a nine volt dc source to it you know and then checking the voltage of the battery and that seems to work but i want something that you know i can for you know set it and forget it you know so i bought a uh you know it charges lipo it charges light li uh, lithium ion it charges cadmium it charges just about everything and um so it was only like 25 bucks and it does the same thing it's got all these same features you can program it and everything it's made for rc toys basically RC toy batteries. But anyway, so um, this is how you work this. So you got you got three buttons here, and then you got two LEDs. It, one's The run one is is not lit. That's the bottom one. And then the top one's red. And that's the red is for this, the relay here. That means this relay is on, and it means that it's, it's charging. So um, what, um, what you do is you hold this down. You just keep holding it down and then it goes see where it says set and now the, the green LEDs on so now you can set this and what I had to do is I had to run this battery down it's from my UPS and I had to run it down to get you know it's I think it's like around 10 um, I think it's around um, 9 volts I think right now so um, so that says that says DN which down that means that's the voltage that this this unit will come on at so and that's anything below the, the voltage you put in there so I put 10.9 so anything below 10.9 this thing's going to kick in 
So then you press this again, and you get up. And up is the voltage that it's going to stop charging at. So I put 12.1, and then you can put in how long it's going to take. I'm not really sure about this parameter, um, but it's it's supposedly, um, I think it might, if it isn't, hasn't reached the, it's like either or maybe. So if it hasn't gone, to, right now it's for one hour and one minute. And it goes up to like, I think it's 59 hours and 59 minutes or like, you know, 60 hours. So, you know, if it hadn't finished charging, and I think it still charges till it gets to the voltage, the up voltage you have. Or if it gets to the time first and it and charges, it's charge, it will shut off. I'm not really sure. I, I, I tried, the instructions are like, um... You know, I'd have to try it and play around with it. That's how you figure this stuff out. The instructions are like converted um, you know, from Chinese to English, and they're not really um, that good. But anyway, so to, to set the time, you use these to set the number. You know, you can go like two, three, and you can go back. And then you press set, and then it goes to the minutes. You can do the same. You can put two minutes in, three minutes. If you hold it down... It just starts scrolling through really fast. So if you see it starts scrolling through really fast. And then you press set again. So that's how you set the hours once you come back out of the um out of the see the red lights on now, so the relay's on and it says out. Oh, and this is low power. So um if you hold this the up key in. See, it says low power off. Now low power on. So you, you don't want the low power on. So you want the low power off. Maybe the percent is just a function of it when it's charging. From when it started charging to, you know, a, a time far, a distant time. Um, it'll show you what percentage the charge is. Like when it gets up to 12, what I said at 12.1, it will say that that's like 100%. Well, that's toggling between, but the relay isn't on. So that's toggling between. So I think what we have to do is the voltage is 10.9. So I have to go in here and set the voltage for something above 10.9. So I'll set it at 11. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's what it was. The The down voltage was too low because it's at 10.9 right now. So I had to set it at 11 for it to, um, the relay to come on. Oh, there it goes. See, so it says off and on. See the relay going off and on? See, the it's off. The relay, the relay LED went off, and it's back on. Yeah, a lot of this you're going to have to, I mean, the instructions aren't very good. And that's the way you attach it. You've got BT, which is BT plus, which is battery plus BT minus, which is battery minus CH plus, which is um, your charger minus and uh, charger plus and charger minus. And there's the uh, model number. It's charging right now. It's up to 11 volts. Charging this up to 11 volts. It's already. And then also, if you if you see this, that means NBE, which is uh, no battery enabled. So there's no battery. So it's at 11 volts now.
So short press of um, up changes from percentage to hour. And I just wanted to add what I'm using to power this. I'm using just a 12 volt um, power supply. It's like a barrel connector and it's plugged into this, which goes to two wires. I mean, you could use anything. You can use like a an old, um, you know, an old uh, router, power supply, or anything. So now, now it's showing percentage. So this is why it switches up, switches from hour. If just a quick short press, switches for, from hour to percentage. And I think um, when I disconnected the battery, maybe it starts over from the voltage that it starts at. So the voltage you have set in the up. So right now it's nine percent of of the of twelve percent. It's eleven. So it looks like the percentage starts over again. So long press long press on this sets it from low power to high power or, or high power to low power one or the other. And then this just uh, turns the relay off and back on again. But to do that, you have to be um, you have to be um, in the charging range, and then the set programs it. And then they also have this right here, which, which um, they give the parameters for it. These three, and there it's on the bottom. It's for it's for serial serial port, transmit, receive, and ground. And you can you can hook this up to your computer and do the the charging and um, you know do graphs how long it takes to charge and stuff like that. I mean, you could try this if you want it for lithium ion or any of the the um, you know the RC batteries and try it. I don't think it's going to work, unfortunately. So it's showing twenty seven percent. So it's um, twenty seven percent of the voltage that um, the charge on the battery from when it last started. So now it's eleven point three, and I think I have it set at twelve point one. So I came up here after dinner and it's 11.5 volts and it's 45% and it was on that when I left a couple hours ago. And what I discovered was that um, it stopped at 4 hours, charging 4 hours and 37 minutes. And I looked in, the, um, in my settings and that's what I have. I have it set at four hours and thirty-seven minutes. So that's that's why it stopped charging. So let me um, increase that. So it's at eleven point five volts. I wonder if I have to set the down. Maybe I have to set the down at um, like eleven point six volts or something. Yep, that's what it was. See this the relay the relay turned on. So what happened was it was, it was at eleven point five volts. So what I did is I had to go in and set the down voltage was which is the minimum voltage. I had to set it higher than eleven point five for it to, to kick in again and start charging. So I set it for six six hours. So it was, it should be charged by then easily. And the percentage starts over again. See, it said it's six six thirty six six hours and thirty six minutes it should take to charge it. And the percentage starts at zero again, so it goes from whatever the voltage is to the maximum voltage. And I guess it's a it's maybe a percentage of the maximum voltage. I'm not really sure. It comes with these little plastic standoffs too. You know, like I don't know how many people. Um, they're from the 286 and 386 computer days, but they used to have these for the motherboards. They had, you had standoffs that the screws would go in, and then they had these two to, in areas where um, 
it wasn't a standoff and you didn't want the board to like if you had to plug a card in you don't want you didn't want to have the board sag down or something 